Hey everybody, welcome to the Pack Opening Pro. Pete's back here again, and I've got my first ever hockey wax box for July. Yes, I decided to purchase one of these boxes. They're available through, I guess, Scan Me. <laughs> hockey wax box, the Wax Box Club. They have hockey and a bunch of other sports, so I signed up for this one. I actually kind of an interest in this. I've been seeing a lot of videos out there of people doing these boxes and it looks like it's a pretty decent product but of course I'll judge it myself you it's 2021-2021 SP authentic 8 to 9 packs includes what you see on this box you can get so a bunch of packs it does include some retail in there and a hobby but a lot of these are sought after and it includes an auto or a relic don't really know what this means but we're gonna go in there there's two types of this box there's a leap box and this is just a base box so there's no slabs or anything in there like this. Getting into it, if you're brand new to the channel, I do tons and tons of trading cards from movies, films, uh, video games, um, sports. Of course, I do sports. Hockey is my favorite sport to collect for right now, but I'm really getting into baseball, basketball, football. So you never know what's on the channel. Check it out. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. So we're going to get into this. Enough of this waffling. And this is basically just a, a, a mystery box of a pack, but it's curated packs in there, usually from packs from the past some some newer stuff but a lot of it is like hard sought after stuff right so we'll get into this right there and i like the packaging they put a lot of thought into this so uh yeah that's kind of what you get right here the wax box club and uh yeah we'll take a look at it we'll open it up show you what's inside oh no packing freaking peanuts i hate packing peanuts all right so uh, how are we going to get this in? I hate packing peanuts. All right, so this is kind of, oh, it's not a slab or anything. It just looks like a, just like a top loader. So that's your secret auto or relic. So we'll put that there for now. And so you get eight or nine packs. So we'll take the packs out. You're going to get a classic pack in there. That's just the way it is. Oh, it stinks too. So I got eight packs. I did not get nine. It doesn't look like, oh, God, packing peanuts. They get everywhere. I hate packing peanuts. But I guess it protects the cards. That's the more important thing. Let's pull out the... Let's get rid of that, first of all. No other packs in there? No, none at all. All right, so let's take a look at the list of stuff we got in here. Let's take like looking at these boxes. They're really cool. So there, you can get this. They have a website. Just search Waxbox Club. I'll put a link in my notes. Again, I paid for this. So this is what you're getting in it. You're getting... Uh, 2021-22 Upper Deck Series 1 Obby, Series 2 Obby, 2021 Upper Deck SP Authentic, um, 2021 Upper Deck Opeachy Platinum, cool, Upper Deck uh, Series 1 from 2012-2013 Hobby, and Upper Deck 2011-2012 uh, Upper Deck SPX Obby. Hmm. All right, I haven't opened a bunch of these, so we'll see how it goes, right? That's all what it's about. So let's take a look at our packs. Try to get rid of these packing stupid peanuts right here put that to the side so we've got right now opichi 2011 2012 all right this is our classic pack from opichi so we'll open him first we've opened a lot of this on the channel 2021 just started open up this hobby got some really good hits in that so that won't be that'll probably be one of the last then we've got oh we've got two packs of this two packs of hobbies man zegris right that's what i'm looking for i haven't got zegris yet this is Series 2. Uh, this is 2012-2013 um, Series 1 Hockey. I was not I was out of the collecting at that time, so we'll put him kind of last. And SPX and OPG Platinum. All oh, right, I love OPG Platinum. So, all right, so, okay, we're going to sort this out. Probably go this way with it. And, uh, yeah, so lots of hobby for sure. I think it's all hobby. All right, put you, I'm just organizing, so how I want to open it. Uh, okay, let's do this. I think that's a good way to open it. And the first ones we're going, so the, well, this is an interesting pack, collect this year's biggest set. So this is just an old peachy hobby pack, okay. So you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna go through the recent years first, but we're gonna open up our classic one first. 1992, who won the cup in 92? Pittsburgh Penguins won it. Peachy Premier. This is in Junk Wax era, unfortunately. But man, I haven't opened these since I was in... Oh, 
geez, just finished high school and college. Just getting out of the hobby then. All right, so we're gonna look at this right away. Randy Burridge, <laughs> Kevin Todd, Joe Sackick. Oh, that's a cool Joe Sackick. That's awesome. Who's this their Toronto Maple Leafs, the original six? Doesn't have a number on them. Who is this? Oh, it's Checklist. Wendell Clark, Troy Murray, Mike Ricci, and the original six New York Rangers checklist and Randy Burridge. All right, cool. All right, so there we go. I just want to show to off Sign of the Times, Carrier Price, a little pickup I just got, and of course, my one of my favorite young guns, Saku Koibu, one of my favorite players of all time. All right, let's get into, so tw I got two packs of this. So did I get nine packs? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I did get nine packs, so cool. We got two of these. I am on the still on the hunt for Trevor Zegers. Never got Zegers, so hey, maybe my luck will pull here. Maybe I'll get Trevor Zegers. I actually enjoyed opening a lot of that this year, really getting back into the hobby. So we got Seth Jones, Josh Anderson, Lars Eller. Got two of these, so I got two chances at Zegers. Oh, and we didn't. We've got a honor roll. Kyle Connor, Colin White, Cam Fowler. Yeah, I hate the honor roll. I'm not a fan of the honor roll at all. So I consider that a base, but it's not. It's hobby too. It's disappointing, right? At least in series two of this year, they've got rookies in their portraits and stuff. So I don't know. Just feel series one is. Well, I don't miss opening these packs. I can tell you that. Still looking for a Zegris. Lost my luck of getting a Zegris. I don't know. I think I got a red on a roll this time. Well, I've got I've got something. Is it a young gun? Nope. Oh, I thought I had a young gun. Nope. No young gun so far. Oh, young guns came out of nowhere. Daniel Walcott, young gun. Well, you're my first hit so far, so hey, I might have you already. So. And then we got rest is just the base. But I go chew and check it anyway, because people tell me in the comments if I missed a French variant. So apparently there were something. All right, Series 2. I'm really enjoying these packs so far. Go check out my channel. I've had some pretty decent hits so far off of uh, both hobby and retail on this. So this is, uh, of course, you're looking for your Mo Cider. You're looking for a bunch of rookies in your Lucas Raymond. I think this is it. Yeah, Series 2. The retail just hit a little while ago, so. Come on, open up the frickin' pack. Frickin', frickin', frickin'. I don't remember the hobby being this hard to open. Let's get this out of here. All right. So, Jake Muzzin. Oh, we got another UD portrait. Uh, we got a, we got an OPG insert. Petrangelo. Phil Kessel, Hot Dog Phil. Joe Thornton, Florida Panthers. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of that. Ovechkin, Franco. Enough. All right, so it's been a bit of a bust so far this year. All right, so we're going to get into a hobby pack of Opeachy, pa Opeachy from 2011-2012. I have no idea what's in this. Gretzky's there. But yeah, no big hits so far in the packs. It is what it is, right? So again, I'm out of my element right here. Winnipeg, Burmese, and off. All right. Oh, look at this. Opeachy, Marquee, Rookie, Andre Zubarev. Yeah, he didn't really amount to much, did he? Oh, that's a cool card. Marcel Dion. Let's put that pack here. I love rookie cards. Marcel Dion. That's a really cool card. Yeah. Montreal Canadiens took Guy Lafleur instead of him. And Martin Ansel. Daniel Paye. Henrik Zetterberg. All right. Okay, so now we're going to get into... I don't know if this is the correct order to open. This is 2020-2021 uh, Opeachy Platinum. I do love Opeachy Platinum series. One of my favorite series... Uh, subsets to get really like the look of them i i've opened quite a bit on the channel no major hits out of it yet though i mean i don't expect major hits but it's such a nice card anthony mantha morgan riley oh marquee rookie Kiefer bellows not a bad one to get actually better than this guy walcott i think Kiefer bellows he was on a trade block so i'll put you there for now you're my top hit so far marquee rookies zamula i don't know we'll put you there too so two marquee rookies in this platinum box. Cool. I love rookie cards. And there you go. All right. Now we're getting into 
Fine Young Guns Rookie Card 2012-2013. Jeez, what year is that? Is that Taze this year? I don't know. I, my memory's gone. But, you know, we'll see. Young Guns should be... What is the Young Gun total in 2012-2013? It is 1 in 4 Hobby has a Young Gun. Oh, wow. This is a cool design. I like that design. Nino Nino Rider. He's a good hockey player, actually. Now, I have no idea where Young Guns will come out. Claude Giroux now of the Ottawa Senators. David Backus? Oh, I got a young gun. Who is it? Oh, it is Warren Peters' young gun. Well, I don't have it. What's wrong with the centering on this? This is gross. I like the look of the design, though. Warren Peters. Yeah, he's not amounted to anything. So it's a pretty crappy young gun to get. Timu Solani, Glenn Cross, Dorset, Fleischman. All right. All right, now we're getting into the heavy hitters. We got an SP Authentic uh, from this year. This is new, it's pretty fat. And then we got a collect autograph and rookie jersey cards from SPX, 2011, 12, 13. All right. Yep. I got some retail coming up on the channel for SPA Authentic for 2021. 2020, 2021, all right. All right, of course you're looking for autos in here. You're looking for sign of the times. You're looking for marks of distinction. Keith Yandel. Martin Jones. Ah, true leaders. Ah, oh, crap. Nothing then. Yeah. Nothing in this one. Just true leaders. Tom Wilson. Ah, oh, it's just as bad as a base pack, to be honest with you. True leaders. I mean, seriously. Crap. Yeah. That's pretty crappy so far. Not been really fortunate there. There's been some really tough pulls. I don't know, Wax Box Club. I don't know. But you know what? You Just as you pay, you can't win if you don't pay. Wow. I, Martin St. Louis coaching the Montreal Canadiens. Wow, I really like the look of these cards. That's sweet. Shea Weber, when he, when he was... Why is their heads cut off? You notice that? All their heads are cut off. That's kind of silly. Shea Weber, when he was at Nashville. And it just looks like a base pack. Yep. I don't know what that says there, 11, 10. Alexander Semen. Yeah, just a base pack. Well, that's very disappointing. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Pretty disappointing, I must say. I can't hide the fact that I'm disappointed. I don't know what's in this, but uh, I don't anticipate much, so... Let's rip this bad boy off. Let's 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 get the pain over, shall we? Maybe I don't know, man. My first impression of this is okay. Let's go. Let's see what we got here. You'll hear me if I think this is exciting or not. It's probably some rando, but you know what? You can't win if you don't play. That's what they say. Wow, well, come on, get this out. It's going to be the problem. Come on, card. It's just jammed in there. All right, what do we get here? We got a rookie. Troy Terry Hanaheim Ducks rookie materials. Okay, that's pretty sweet. Troy Terry, you got his face beat off this year in a fight or last year. Wow, that's a pretty cool card. That is a pretty cool card, I must say. Troy Terry rookie materials. This will this will have a little bit of value. I'd say it's probably worth at least three, four, five bucks. I obviously did not recoup, did not recoup anything in this. Like, and, and that'll happen, right? Again. Um, I guess that's the big hit. And you know what? It's not bad. It's not bad. Um, would latter it be, uh, Trevor Zegers, <laughs> but you never know. Troy Terry could materialize into a decent player. Really? He's, he's not a bad player right now and he's only going to get better with, uh, Trevor Zegers. Thanks so much for watching. Once again, I'm Pete. This has been the Pack Opening Pro. Hit that subscribe, smash that like button. Thanks for watching. I'll get you in the comments. Bye.